photo. Uh, Jack, Lovely photo. I have to tell you, I might try and escape halfway through this. It's going to be OK. Everyone loves you here. OK. Uh, nothing can go wrong. Uh, this is your panic button. <laughs> All right, so hold that. If uh, Remember, you know, the more you can take, the more you can talk at the end about your chosen subject. So, Peter, there are, there are great rewards okay. uh, awaiting for you if you can endure the next two horrible minutes, um, which I believe is one of your most commonly used pickup lines. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter. Peter Stringfellow. That's me. You were born, unfortunately. <laughs> 96 years ago in a... Uh, <laughs> Sordid northern one up, one down. So you were even born into a sex act. <laughs> According to your CV, you learned to masturbate at school uh, in a history class. Well done. Yeah. King Harold definitely got one in the eye that day, didn't he? <laughs> and you, you say you were so shocked when I ejaculated, I immediately went to the toilet and did it another three times. <laughs> You didn't do well academically because you were dyslexic. Uh, your home life was difficult, but mainly because you spent most of the school day wanking like a safari park. At <laughs> uh, 24, you started the Black Cat Club, a cool. sleazy, sordid dive even by Sheffield standards. <laughs> the club supplied you with an endless stream of available, willing and, above all, desperate women. <laughs> Peter Stringfellow had arrived. The cat had got the cream, <laughs> as luckily had the chemist. <laughs> With your flamboyant clothes and uh, trademark crap haircut. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before the London night scene took notice. But tragedy was soon to follow. You opened Stringfellows. <laughs> it was an immediate hit. Uh, Bross, Chris Quentin, Yaz and Rick Astley were just a few of the great names <laughs> who added their own special brand of glamour to your club. Yes, all that hard work at school had finally paid dividends. You proved to the world that you could pull it off anywhere. <laughs> and still only 82. <laughs> but sadly, fashions change. Sadly, because yours didn't. <laughs> Suddenly, uh, inexplicably, the uh, appeal of sipping pomaine with Bross, Chris Quentin, Yaz and Rick Astley faded. <laughs> Meanwhile, your personal life took another knock, already two marriages down. Your relationship with girlfriend Frisbee was in difficulties. <laughs> in the end, you threw her out. <laughs> Only for her to be brought back by a neighbour's Labrador. <laughs> then, one morning in 1993, you woke up after yet another typical night of shallow, champagne fueled casual sex. <laughs> Lying in your bed was a raddled, bleach blonde tart that you didn't know. And you thought to yourself, I must get rid of that ceiling mirror. Briefly, you wrestled with the questions that haunt all men when they reach their early hundreds. <laughs> Doubts that can only be addressed by an extended beach holiday with a bubbly blonde. <laughs> uh, that's not bad. That's, <laughs> that's uh, her on the left. <laughs> And so, to the present day, when, Peter, you've recently celebrated your 130th birthday <laughs> with some well-overdue cosmetic surgery in the form of an eye job, a nose job, and knowing you, a blow wave. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, a, a special evening at your favourite night spot, Stringfellows, <laughs> with just a few of your very closest illegitimate children around you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Stringfellow! <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> Peter, you've been, a, you've been a, a great sport and uh, no one can deny you've really earned your 30 seconds uh, okay. to talk about whatever it is you want to talk about, right. so away you go. OK, Jack, come on. I've got two girls to help me, do you right. mind? <laughs> Beautiful. I've got Susanna and Fleur. Right. Do you work with your daughters a lot? Not only, not only do I have beautiful girls at the club dancing, we've got no pause, but I also, we do our own lingerie. This is string pullers lingerie. And I invented this myself. Watch this, watch this. Very good, don't you think? Oh, it comes okay. off. Okay. <laughs> what it is, is this is our lingerie. And as you can see, it's all white. We call this the uh, virginal package. 
So the point is that this has been sold all around Great Britain and the girls were dancing, believe it or not, in Selfridge's window in Oxford Street and Manchester. Don't take your tops off, though, all right? You didn't take your tops oh, off in the yes. Selfridge's window, did you? Oh, yes, I did. You they did. did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you look like in all this gear, then, Pete? I look yeah. wonderful. Oh, great. Me and David Beckham. Mm. <laughs> you're... <laughs> Thanks. You're, you're scaring me now, Peter. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Peter you. Thank 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 you.